I'm Sharon King, Taylor's mom. I'm president of Taylor's Tale, an organization that was founded by a group of family and friends who cared about Taylor and her family and wanted to change the course of batten disease. Batten disease is a neurodegenerative disorder which affects mostly children. It starts with blindness but progresses to uh, seizures, a uh, loss of ability to walk, to talk. Many of the children end up with feeding tubes and of all the different forms of batten disease, they all do result in an early death. The first time that I met Taylor, what I saw was you know, just an amazing young lady that wanted to be normal, wanted to be like any other girl and kind of trapped in a body, trapped in a mind that wouldn't do what she wanted it to do. But meeting Taylor for the first time, it makes it easy to come to work every day. I'm Dr. Stephen Gray. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Ophthalmology at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. I'm also an investigator in the Gene Therapy Center. It's hard being a father and seeing my own children that are healthy and then seeing other children that through no fault of their own, they were born with a chronic and debilitating disease. Gene therapy is it's so exciting because it means that you could potentially treat a person one time in their life and you could cure them. And if, and if it's done early enough, you could potentially prevent the disease. Diseases like Batten disease uh, broadly affect the entire nervous system. And so if you try to treat one small part, everything else is gonna fall apart around it and it's not gonna be effective. What our lab really helped to pioneer was an approach uh, of, of rather than injecting the virus directly into the brain, was to find ways to globally deliver a gene across the entire nervous system. We reached our first milestone with uh, infantile Batten disease mice. We treated them at four weeks old to um, deliver that missing enzyme. Usually these mice uh, die at eight months old. It was a relief and I felt joy that I could see these mice go past eight months old and they, they've reached one year old. And that's a milestone that no one else has achieved with this disease. These mice were treated at a time when it is translational to humans. So we have the treatment. We just have to keep this going. We have got to continue this work so that we can actually take something that is showing incredible promise and actually take it to clinic, actually treat children like Taylor. The cumulative health care costs for somebody like Taylor over their lifetime what it costs to treat a rare disease for one person. If we were to take that amount of money and put it towards the research that we're doing, it would probably be enough to take us to the start of a clinical trial. Gene therapy has so much promise, uh, not just for Batten disease, but for all single gene disorders, for things like Crab A disease. It holds promise for Alzheimer's, for ALS, and that's, that's of big interest to Taylor's Tale, that through our support of one fairly small childhood disease, that we are in fact creating a victory for additional rare diseases. We need to try to to fix it and we need to work as hard as we can and we need supporters, donors to help us. I'm very passionate about um, you know, the people that I feel like this really can help. I, I believe in the technology. I believe in Dr. Gray's work because I believe it will be an answer for Batten disease. Anything that happens in this lab will not be in time for my tailor. And I've had people ask me, why do you keep going? Why do you keep doing this? Why does it matter so much? Why are you losing sleep over raising the funds to make sure that this work actually results in treating kids? I think it's important not to give up. I dream every day 
of success with this treatment because I watch every day what's happening to my little girl as she struggles with losing quality of life on a daily basis. And what this treatment means is that children can be given their life back. 